Yes. Now we will discuss about the upper end of the ulna. Here you can see this is upper end. This is upper end. This is upper end. Upper end has two processes and two articular surfaces. So it has two processes and two articular surfaces are two notch. So this is one articular, one process is one process, this process is olecranon process, this process is olecranon process. So this is olecranon process and another process, this process, this process is coronoid process. Articular surface. In this process, there is one articular surface here. This is trochlear notch. Trochlear notch. And here is another articular surface. This articular surface is. This is a radial notch. So it has two articular surfaces, these are the trochlear notch and radial notch. If you see from the lateral side, you will find it will be like this. This is articular surface. Here from this point to this part, this is olecranon, this is olecranon process and this part is, this is coronoid process. This olecranon process has five surfaces, this process has five surfaces and this process, coronoid process has four surfaces. Five surfaces are, here is superior surface from here to here, this is posterior surface. And this surface here, this surface on lateral side, this surface, this part, this is lateral surface, so this is lateral surface, this is superior surface, this is posterior surface. And anterior, this is anterior surface, and this anterior surface is articular, it forms the trochlear notch. So anterior surface form the trochlear notch. So this is anterior surface form the trochlear notch. And medially there is medial surface, so it has five surfaces and this part from here to here, this is coronoid process, this process is coronoid process, here, so this part is coronoid process. It has superior surface, this surface, this is articular, this surface form the part of trochlear notch. This is from the part of the trochlear notch, lower part of the trochlear notch. And upper part is formed by anterior surface of the olecranon process. And lower part is formed by superior surface of coronoid process. Here is inferior surface of the coronoid process. This inferior surface of the coronoid process form a tuberosity known as ulnar tuberosity. This is ulnar tuberosity. This is ulnar tuberosity. It has medial surface and sorry, it has lateral surface on lateral side here. Lateral surface. Here you can see lateral surface has a radial notch here. So lateral surface has a notch. This is radial notch. It has anterior margin. This is posterior margin. This is notch. This is radial notch. Here, this radial notch accommodates or articulate with the head of the radius and its margin gives attachment to the to the annular ligament its margin gives attachment to the annular ligament here is annular ligament here is annular this is anterior margin this is anterior margin this is posterior margin this is posterior margin 
it gives attachment to annular ligament. This ligament is annular ligament. So it has four surfaces, superior surface, inferior surface, superior surface is articular form the radial, uh, form the uh, trochlear notch, lateral surface articular form the radial notch and inferior surface form the ulnar tuberosity and then under surface which is medial side, this is medial surface. So this is all about the upper end of the ulna.